Hey everybody, thought I'd just do a bit of an overview on the flip and whirl a rainbow dash from the MLP movie. Um, this apparently deals with the, like I said, the pirate thing is going to be a huge factor in there. And um, as you can see, I think the wings do, yeah, the wings do come down a little bit. Um, but overall, it's a nice design. Um, uh, basically, as you can see, it's got some grooves on the back, which I've already kind of, <laughs> which, well, which have kind of already seen better days. Uh, basically, because the, because of the reason that this is called a flip and roll, is it's supposed to do a flip. And um, it's supposed to do some kind of a flip, but it also comes with the it comes with her singing ver singing various parts of the pirate awesome song from the movie uh... it also comes with a little crayon so you can color the wings if you want to a little mark color marker uh... apparently her wings get colorized to something like that in the movie when she does the sonic rainbow i'm guessing that we see in the trailer but uh, overall the design i think is pretty good it cost about fourteen eighty eight i believe it was fourteen eighty eight so it's pretty cool. I think it was. And I think it may have been 24, but I think it was 1488. I'm not really sure. But the wings do f uh, flap a little bit that I know of. They kind of come down. Um, the arms are movable, but what they're supposed to do apparently is when you. Yeah, it's. Uh, hold on. When she does this, yeah, she's supposed to flip, <laughs> apparently, as you just saw there. That, that is apparently what she's supposed to do. She's supposed to sit down and do a flip like that. So Now, she doesn't have a cutie mark on the other side, which is, I guess, would bother people. But there's a reason she has it on this side, because like I said, she comes with, um, you can play various parts of the Pirate Awesome song that she sings in the movie, for example. Yeah, it basically plays a few lines from the song. Overall, the design, I think, is pretty good. I mean, it doesn't have the rainbow dash with, you know, the hair the way it would be. Because, you know, you got to defer it a little bit. She might, I, I'm, I'm, I don't think it'll grow out longer in the movie because of the rain, the sonic rain boom. It's just the way they design it. Um, overall, I think it's a very good figure. The head is very, mo is uh, movable. Like I said, it does a flip and whirl. You know, that's why the, the legs are kind of like the way they are. They don't move too much, the front ones that I know of. But overall, I think it's a pretty good uh, little uh, collectib a movie collectible. Especially if you want to get a sneak peek of some of the songs that are going to be in the movie. So, overall, I definitely say it's worth getting. I think, it, like I said, it's a, I think it's between fourteen eighty eight and twenty eighty eight. dollars um, I would just check, double check on that. But overall, it's not too bad, and I suggest getting it if you want to collect stuff from the movie. And like I said, it really matches in on the film. Now, like I said, this is basically based on her pirate design. I don't know if maybe she injures her leg or something, or just that's just going to be part of the outfit. Uh, overall, though, very, very well done. Um, Got to give them credit there. There you can see the uh, speaker where you can hear the song come out of, so that's pretty cool. Uh, overall, it's not too bad. Like I said, it does come with a color pen if you want to color the wings on the outside. Um, fun, f <laughs> uh, crazy fact, I almost threw that pin out when I was uh, throwing the, not the box, but the background 
the uh, the inner part of the box, the background part of the box out. So <laughs> almost threw it out, but I was able to get it. So overall, definitely worth uh, getting if I'm if you're a fan and you're a fan of the movie. So that's really all I could say on it. Let me know what you guys think down below, and I'll talk to you later.